this episode of Craig's Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of that everyday food that most people take for granted, the chicken. It's much more cost effective to buy a chicken whole from your local butchers than it is to get it from the supermarket in Supremes, Fillets, Legs, Diced Chicken um, and, and from break it down from there. You can get a whole lot more out of a whole chicken and I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we take our knife, which is a nice sharp boring knife. I'm just going to sharpen it like I did in my video the other day. If you watch the knife care and uh, knife handling video, so I'll show you how to sharpen that. Give it a wipe down the, the cloth to get any extra knives fit. So what we're going to do first, we're going to take the legs off this chicken. So a little nick in one side at the top, a little nick in the other side of the leg at the top, and it'll expose the leg. So then what we do from there, Turn it over and there's a little joint just there that you want to put your fingers against and push the leg out and you'll feel it click when it goes. Then we just work down the bone and we take the chicken off the bone. Same again on this side. Turn it over, a little pop, and the chicken comes off. So we're now left with what's called the crown, so that's the breasts and the wing bones. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the breast bone um, away, so I'll take the fillets off the breast bone. We're going to take the wish bone out first. This is something that you have on the turkey at Christmas that you put between your little fingers and you crack. Whoever has the biggest part wins the wish. But if we take this part out now, we're going to be able to get much more breast meat off these breasts, and I'll show you why. So you need to locate the breast of the, the wishbone and just cut down each side of it. When it comes free, just run your fingers to the top of the wishbone and you'll feel it at the top and just take the knife two small incisions up the top there and there we go that's the wishbone removed so now what we can do is we can get these breasts off and we can get them off with far more meat than we have than we would have been able to if we didn't So we're going to keep the wing bone on this because I'm going to show you how to prepare a breast French trim as you would get it in a restaurant. So one breast off. What all you're doing is you're putting your knife blade just down the bones of the ribcage of the chicken and letting the knife do all the work. You're not doing any cutting, it's the knife that's doing all the cutting for you. I'll do the same with this one, take it off with the wing bone on, so I'm going to show you how to French trim them. And then we have our carcass left. So not nothing left on there of value meat-wise, but this is very valuable as far as stock goes. So you can put this in a pan now, fill it with water, and place some onions, carrots, leeks, a little bit of celery in there, and boil it for maybe two hours. Once it's come to the boil, put it down to a simmer. And then this you can use in the base of soups or sauces uh, or anything like that. So even the bones of the chicken are actually very, very valuable. So the way I do this, I'm just going to cut down the inside of the rib cage, and break the chicken apart, so you get it into two pieces, so it'll fit in your pan easier. Also, what you want to do before you stick it in the pan is just take those excess bits of fat off there, because you don't want a fatty chicken stock. So we have two nice pieces of bone there now that are ready to go into our chicken stock. So we're now going to what you call French trim this chicken breast, which means expose the wing bone. Um, it's just a nice presentation technique for when you're um, doing it for a nice dinner party or something like that. I'm just going to trim the chicken breast up and get rid of any excess skin or fat. And then on the bone here, we can see we've got a on the um, then on the chicken wing here, we can see we have a nice layer of meat over the top of that one. So I'm just going to trim a little bit of it off with a French knife that's got a nice big fat heel on it. I'm just going to nip that bone there, push it back against itself, and trim it off. 
And as you can see there, that's really nicely French trim. So we've got a nice clean bone and really nicely trimmed chicken breast. This chicken wing can then be cut up and you can cook those in the oven and have some nice little chicken wings with a bit of honey glaze on there or barbecue glaze. The trimmings that we have here as well are not going to go to waste, they're going to go into our chicken stock. So we've got a chicken wing there, a chicken wing there. I shall French trim this one very quickly. So we'll just trim the skin up. Nip the wing off. So we've got a wing there, we've got a wing tip that's going to go in there. And now I'm just going to French trim this, the wing tip up. There we go, two really nice to French trim chicken breasts. Ready just to go in the pan. So now onto the legs. We've got a couple of choices with the legs. We could use it as a thigh, a drumstick, and we could roast those as they are. We could put a nice glaze on the drumstick and roast those through the oven and a nice barbecue or a nice salad. The thigh we could roast as a whole, you could have it as a joint piece for if you're going to have a roast or something like that. Or we could take the meat off the bone and we could use that in a, a curry or a stir fry or something. Because I think that leg meat's a lot nicer for doing that because it holds its moisture and more flavour than the uh, breast meat. So let's take one of them into two pieces for the roasting joints then I'll take the other leg off the bone and dice it up and show you. So I'm going to just quickly nip a little bit of the bottom off. And if you just feel, turn it over so the, the, the flesh side is up, and just halfway along there, you'll just feel a little ridge where it goes in. That's the connection between the thigh uh, and the bottom of the leg. Knife goes in there, and you'll find it'll just cut in half very, very easily, because you're cutting down through the cartilage in the middle of the bone, not trying to cut through the bone. You can see how easily those cut together. Same principle, taking the skin off. The skin isn't attached to the actual chicken, so it should just roll off. And with this one we pull it down, I, I just hold it with the knife at the top there and just pull the chicken down, chicken skin down towards the, the knuckle and we'll just chop that off there. Very very similar to taking the meat off where the bone is, just a nice slice down to the bone and all we want to do is just roll our knife around the bone. And the bone comes out of the middle very easily. What we've got to do, where the bone came from, you've just got to make sure you've not left any cartilage uh, or anything just in there. So what we can do now, quite simply, cut that into dice. I do the, the bottom or the drumstick a little bit different. There's a lot bigger bone in there. It's quite difficult to actually get round the bone. So I go down the bone with this one. Very similar to taking the meat off the wing when I was French trimming it. So I just get all the bits of the meat and then just cut it off. There's also a very small bone in here that you get in your um, chicken wings, if you'll notice. It's like a, a cocktail stick or a toothpick almost. You want to be careful that you don't get out in that in with the meat that you're cutting off. So there we go. That's that leg cut up for dice. With the other leg, as I said, we're going to cut it up for sauté. So I'll just nip that bottom bone off again. Just trim it up. Turn it over, find the midway point, and it just cuts through very simply. So if I was going to roll that piece up there like so, and there's my drumstick there like so, so there are all my different cuts. This is a very, very large chicken that I got from um, Lionel Hunt today on Front Street in Sacriston. Um, so this will feed um, four of us that we have here. I've got at least three meals out of this. Um, so I've got a roasted breast. I could cook the breast off and you slice it cold and put it into a salad. I've got some chicken wings there just to nibble on as a little snack. I have a roasting piece of thigh and a drumstick. Also, we have some diced chicken there, which I've taken from the legs. But then also we have all these bones here as well. I'm going to make a stock from um, to make into a, a soup or a sauce for something to go with one of these. So lots of meals out of a chicken, as you can see there, um, and far better value because a chicken breast in a supermarket will cost you anywhere between £1.70 and £2. Um, diced chicken meat, which is more often than not all the bits that they can't get off um, as a whole, they take off and dice up and put in there for you. You're looking at paying £45 a kilo for that, so a 200 gram pack of that may cost you uh, £1 to £1.50. 
Um, chicken wings, which are just a bit of a nibble. So this chicken as a whole, I think, cost me five pounds, but I'm gonna get the three meals out of this for four people, which um, is great, great value, as well as the, the soup or the, the sauce that I decided to make from the bones as well. So in general, buying the whole chicken and breaking it down like this is far better value than buying in portions from your local supermarket. Thank you.